Alantra are flooding out of spawn, but their tanks are still so low. Yeah, Kai's been offered a lot of space here, but he's got to do some heroics for sure. The d comes through. Okay, the Blizzard's going to be locking up a couple of these players. Super gets caught, but so does Hawk. Hawk locks against the positioning. And look at that. Swinging away. The Shocker finishing with 56 seconds in there. Matrix on the high ground for both teams. See if Super can land this big shatter. Very clever. The May is still behind him though, yeah. He's gonna be getting the shatter off and buy a bit of time, but the fact is that Mirror is able to sneak in behind him. Great block on that shatter though. Perfect stuff. Muse just gets absolutely rolled there. Super eventually goes down. This Blizzard may not catch too many people. Striker gets rid of space after the D suit now and Blizzard ends up getting thrown into no He has Prime. He has Primal. Oh, this is so wrong. Smurf is going absolutely uh, wild. It's monkey magic in the stairwell. And the gladiators were held there for 20 seconds. And now they're just getting embarrassed by this man. It's, uh, it's a casual 4K and a smile there from Smurf. What is the plan here? Is it, uh, it's going to be a flash. Oh, oh my oh, god. Strike is cheeky. God, his spidey senses were tingling. He just drops down and apprehends these ne'er do wells. And Violet finds Mira here as well, causing some serious. Um, he, do he doesn't miss. I mean, the he guy doesn't is miss. Insane. What is going I mean, on? The guy is insane. Actually, he's no immortality field, but he recovers from that down. Great Maywall. Uh, immortality field came oh, yeah. down, but if Massa can do some aggressive, decisive engagement off the back of that, could be the key to victory. Wow, super ends up battering them all. What was that? Oh my goodness, a couple of hammer swings knocks them off the high ground and sets it up for the Earth Shatter. What a critical play. They were not expecting that in the slightest. And the shock just to seal it out. FD God lets the sound barrier go. I don't know if Picky was aware that he was going to be chased down. Too busy getting rid of Super. Trigger even goes for the D suit. He wants a remake desperately here. He gets Crimzo's immortality field with that and is able to get back into the bot and the kill on Crimzo. Oh, Joy Kyoven! You're doing something to me, baby! That's incredible! Jungu. Oh! Was that the bunny hop shadow attempt from Super? He gets floor with that! Absolutely disgusting! Jungu now tries to forge ahead and use the May Wall, but Dante gets cut down in San Francisco. In the words of Super. Pretty swaggy, not gonna lie. Violet, this is such a classic Violet thing to do as well. No surprises, they want him to almost be that third DPS player on the map. Dante goes down to the signature aggression of FD God and he makes it two happy falls to his hand. Make it four, classic FD God, showing that brand of aggression. Venom actually falls though How is that from possible? FD God. I don't even know, he, they dove though. They dove on top of Mayhem support lineup that were actually on the high ground right there. And now BQB, they're gonna trade that for Striker, but FD God, someone stop him. The follows that are going on, now BQB's gone. Yaki's not gonna be there to help defend with the rest of Mayhem. And OG Ooh. unfortunately doesn't have the sustainability to stay Okay, FD got. It's just a matter of time before FD got. He's here to make a statement right now, Josh. All eyes are on, on FD got. You know, different place out with the Lucio, but now the shock. Stop the shock from really initiating in, but again, the bubble is off, and now the Primal Rage comes through. Knocked off the edge. Perfect mechanics from Smurf. Wonderful work on the Winston once more. Backs up and now puts his attention into the back line to try and split them apart. The Shock capitalized immediately. The space has been created. Stunned up Smurf so low, but now the Nana Boost applied. The old rotations are impeccable. The Atlanta Rain with only a couple of players left standing. Not enough to stand up to the Shock. Uh, Dead Eye here. Striker gets a little bit of a speed boost. Uh, moves past the M Matrix, but doesn't even matter. Super for the Shatter knock space to the ground is, uh, this is going to be the shot completing the map. Outlaws don't have the numbers to take the point, but here's that EMP. Dante sat on that for so long, but again, he got a voice it. He gets a sound barrier. He keeps the shock in the fight, and it'll give them the round. But still, they're not contested here, and they're still trying to push into Mayhem spawn doors. The EMP, Ooh, the EMP is massive. You're fighting for, fighting for OG. Actually making a quick swap, actually to get rid of the, uh, the EMP, and he's trying to get really quickly back. But you currently have super. They're gonna attack. They're gonna attack. They can't go. So what's up? The thing. He's so nearly right there, but there's nobody left on the point. Yes, uh, they wrap around the opposite way. Is this is a dead eye that comes in uh, from Violet as well? He's gonna connect one. Is uh, this looks like an all shock yet again? Oh, wow. So they should be pushing the cart through. Shot go past the amplification matrix now with a sound barrier. And what a play. I don't think the outlaws were ready for this. They thought the shock would meekly back away, but they clearly haven't spent enough time with San Francisco. The shock, forge onward. And now the card is awfully close with 25 seconds left in the round. The outlaws stunned 
reeling. Now need to find a way to get back and have an attempted defense. Piggy can't touch. He's knocked away. Smurf gone, and now to shock a core behind enemy lines here. They might still want to take this fight. The grab gets sent straight in. Is there going to be any follow-up whatsoever? Post bomb up into the sky. The damage is immense. Gravitic Flux has to be forced out now. Hawk needs to find a kill or two with it, but they're not getting it picks just yet. Twilight will eventually go down, but nobody can touch. Yeah, not only did they force out the low ground, but now, oh, Garko ate the blizzard from Nero. I mean, that's one ultimate down from the shot. But what about shatter. the rest? What about the shatter coming in? From Super, it's a cleanup, and because they were forced to drop down onto that low ground, those dragons actually forced out that rotation, and that's more time taken away from the mayhem. And so that's a very understandable mentality. Dead eyes on either side here. How do they deal with this? There it goes, eaten up by the defense matrix. That one not quite did a lot of damage to Massa, Ooh. and they force out that amp the immortality field to clean up so easily. What a play from the San Francisco shop. Dante's going to get rid of that pretty early on. The duplication oh. of the McCree. Are you out of your mind? I, I, I don't know if Dante intended right. that. Yeah. Yeah. He falls straight into the open arms of Super and gets clapped as a result. Graviton Surge comes a little bit late in the day in the Blizzard the zone off in sport. Nero can handle these two on his own. Crimzo is down. Happy can't do too much more but try and disco dance on the point. Juby removed by Violet here. Happy tries to get over the wall, but won't get there. And here we go. We might have a game. Primal Rage comes in now as Junkie tries to stall out the point for as long as possible. Yeah, only found BQB actually right there. BQB won't be in the fight, but here comes Super. He's in the back lines and he's terrorizing the support. Oh, he's oh them no. Up. And now that shock that's going to be able to move this payload in. He's hunting. Looking for the McCree, juggling now. Burger gets himself some help, and that's classic FD God, and that's what he brings to this roster. The domestic fight, and the run turns the view. The Sensei finds himself with Moth only, and Moth is likely to be alive. He went for a sound barrier in mid-air, and wasn't picked off. Still, though, that's not enough. The Dead Eye going to be coming out here from Bird Ring. Maybe just going to reload now as he's challenged on the high ground. He drops down, but again, Muse is the first pick here for the Gladiators. And went out there right and hard, it falls apart when Striker comes to collect. Junkie backs up, Juby could be in danger here. Choi doesn't quite know where he wants to go, but Dante is claimed by FD God. If it's not Choi, it's someone else with that trademark aggression from San Francisco. Oh, Blizzard gets used, Deadeye from Striker. He had to let it go early because he was about to get frozen up here. Super's just trying to hold the flank off. Gator ends up going down here, and that opens it up now for Super to lay down the shatter. Two players hitting the deck. The Shock eventually find their opening, and they are going to be jumping on it. Nero doesn't get caught by the Storm Bear, but it's okay because the Blizzard instead is going to get some of that space. Enable Striker to utilize that Deadeye, and they do oh, clean up the whole of Jin. Somebody stop the clicking heads, finding these domes, and it doesn't matter if that Shatter hits Striker because the rest of the Shock are there to help heal for him and clean you up in the front lines, OG. 